Welcome to the Vote Tabulator training. The Vote Tabulator is used to receive ballots. When a ballot is inserted into the Vote Tabulator, it will scan the ballot card and record the results. The Vote Tabulator should be placed near the exit. Be sure to have adequate space for voters to privately deposit their ballots. Once the Vote Tabulator is positioned correctly, retrieve the red tab key and the black barrel key from the judge's orange case. Retrieve a surge protector from the blue electrical supply box, which is inside the ESC. Locate door number two on the back of the vote tabulator. Then unlock door number two with the red tab key. And uncoil the power cord. Plug the power cord into the surge protector now, confirm the green battery light is on. This light indicates that the machine is properly plugged in. Position the vote tabulator so the screen display is facing the voter. Once in place, lock the front wheels. Remove the wire seal from door number one. You will place this seal inside the pocket of the black pouch labeled vote tabulator. Next, using the red tab key, unlock and open door number one. Remove the blue ballot box. The ballot box is where voters' ballots are secured for the duration of the election. Use the red tab key to unlock both ends of the blue ballot box. Open the lids and remove the blank ballot cards. Then place the blank ballot cards on the judge's table. Close both lids and place the blue ballot box back inside door number one, and then open the lids. The lids must be opened to ensure ballots can be properly dropped into the blue ballot box during the election. Now close and relock door number one with the red tab key. Using the red tab key, unlock door number three. Then unlock the latches and open the lid. Next, unlock door number four with the black barrel key and lift the display screen. The screen should be visible within 30 seconds. When prompted, enter the election code from the Voting Equipment Access Codes page located in the opening section of the judge's notebook. When entering the code, be sure to input slowly and verify that each individual letter and number is followed by an asterisk. Once the code is entered, press Accept. The configuration report will automatically begin printing. Once printing is completed, Tear it off and place it inside the black pouch. Verify the screen is displaying three green check marks indicating this voting device is ready, the election definition is found, and the equipment is plugged into electricity. Press the Open Poll button on the screen. After pressing Open Poll, three zero reports will automatically begin printing. This will print as one tape. and should be cut into three identical sections. The judge and clerks will sign and date each copy in the designated signature section. One copy will be placed inside the black pouch, the second copy inside the blue carrier bag, and the judge will retain the third copy, which goes inside pink envelope number three. From the display screen, press Go to Voting Mode. The vote tabulator is now ready to receive ballots. The voter will insert their marked ballot on the black tray with the green arrow. Ballots can also be inserted in the lower tray in any direction. The public count will change after each ballot is inserted and the screen will display, thank you for voting. Remind the voter to take an I voted sticker from the roll on the vote tabulator. These steps begin after the last voter has voted and the vote center has closed. Using the red tab key, open door number five on the vote tabulator to verify and process any emergency ballots. If there are ballots, remove the emergency ballots along with the clear plastic bag from inside and close and lock door number five. Remove the tamper evidence seal from the clear plastic bag and place emergency ballots inside the bag. Record the number of emergency ballots 
on the official ballot and seal certificate. Record the seal number on the ballot and seal certificate. Place the tamper evidence seal over the opening of the bag. The emergency ballot bag is hand delivered to your regional site. Using the yellow tab key, unlock the green seal door on the vote tabulator. Press and hold the close poll button for approximately three seconds and wait for the screen to display the red close poll button. Once displayed, press the red close poll button and wait for the tabulator to close the polls. Once the polls are closed, the three voter results report tape will automatically begin printing. The judge will cut and separate the three voter results reports. The judge will sign in the signature section along with the clerks. One copy will be placed inside the black pouch, the second copy inside the blue carrier bag, and the judge retains the third copy which goes inside pink envelope number three. From the display screen, record the public count on the ballot and seal certificate, line four. From the display screen, press the red finished turn off button. Verify the power button light is off underneath the green seal door. This button will flash briefly and the vote tabulator will turn off completely. This may take up to 15 seconds for the screen to turn black. It is important to verify the power button is off and then remove the USB stick. The USB stick will be placed inside the pocket of the black pouch labeled USB, then zip to close. Using the yellow tab key, close and lock the green seal door. Lower the screen and using the yellow tab key, lock door number four. This locks the screen in place. Close the large black lid and lock the latches. Using the red tab key, lock door number three. Using the red tab key, open door number one and close the flaps on the blue ballot box. Remove the box from inside the vote tabulator, leaving the voted ballots inside the ballot box. Place any blue copies of voter rosters inside the ballot box and close lids. Use the red tab key to lock both ends of the ballot box. Inside the judge's case, Retrieve the black equipment pouch containing the blue zip seals. Secure both ends of the ballot box using the zip seals. They should be bent slightly to thread inside the holes on top of the box. Record both zip seal numbers on the ballot and seal certificate, section C. The ballot box is secured and ready to be taken back to the regional site. The last step is to place any unused ballots inside door number one. Close and lock using the red tab key.